Now, let's talk about an extremely useful concept, namely the degree of a map of spheres. Let us first start with some motivation. Let's look at the case of the unit circle inside the complex plane. Let's look at the power map given by z maps to z to the d. This class of maps is very important because every map, every holomorphic map on the Riemann surface locally will look like a power map. So we want to understand such maps. Now, because f is a polynomial, we already have a notion of degree of f. That's just going to be d. But that's an algebraic description. Now we want to see if we can recover this topologically. One viewpoint is to think of the degree of f as the size of the generic fiber. This is going to be discussed more in our series on manifolds and the series on algebraic geometry. Our approach in this video, however, is going to be different. One way to think about the degree of f is that it captures the number of times the image of this s1 wrap around this s1. For example, let's look at the case when degree of f is 2 so that f is a square map. In that case, as z go from 1 to minus 1 in the domain, f of z will have already go around this whole circle once. So, as z complete this its journey here or in this domain, f of z would have won around the circle twice. Thus, a good way to think about this degree is that it's the number of time that the image of S1 wraps around this S1 here in the codomain. While this definition is good, it's not very computable. So we want to go one step further. The idea is to use homology. Recall that the one homology group of S1 is free and generated by this one simplex. Saying that the image of f wraps around the circle d time is equivalent to saying that the image of this one simplex e under f is homologous to d times e. This gives us a way to think about this degree. If we think of these homology groups here as isomorphic to z by fixing that generator e, then this is a homomorphism of z, so it's given by multiplication by a natural number. In this specific case, that natural number is d. Thus, this gives us a way to characterize the degree of f. It's gonna be the unique integer such that the following map commute. In other words, this induced map on the first homology is gonna be given by multiplication by degree of f. This definition certainly generalizes for the case of any general continuous map from the sphere to itself, right? Because in such case, such maps always induce a map on homology. And we know that these homologies are isomorphic to z, so we can define the degree of f to be the unique integer making this square commute. In other words, this induced map on this nth homology is going to be multiplication by some integer. That integer is the degree of f. Up next, we're going to talk about some basic properties of degree.